what's going on guys it is foxy dude 98 here welcome back to a brand new f1 2017 career mode video for you guys today on my channel today we are back here for the uh, italian grand prix if you guys do enjoy today's square video don't forget to click a like that'd be absolutely awesome subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel already and guys the support was uh again again was absolutely incredible in yesterday's video as i'm recording this i think it has 880 video uh, 880 videos 880 views and like 42 likes which is absolutely insane you guys are killing it ever since I've moved to Ferrari, so uh, in my mind, joining Ferrari was a brilliant option because you guys are absolutely loving it, so I really do appreciate that and I'm really thankful for all of your support. Um, but today, we have picked up a durability upgrade, I do believe, unless it wasn't and I was just being blind. But as you can see then, we're going to be getting ready to go into the practice programs, and as you can see, we're having a look at some of our old engine components to put into the car. Like I've said many times before, guys, don't forget to put old engine elements in your car in order to help out just uh, in general um in terms of your overall engine where if you guys haven't gone and checked out the previous video in the link in the description down below i always put a link to the video um the previous episode but anyway guys you guys are interested in my setup so i'm going to be showing them for you guys here now i'm going to be running two two wings for this race the transmission on throttle you want to put all the way down to 50 adjustment off throttle you have to change between 70 and 75 uh the uh, suspension geometry you want to keep the top two the same Two clicks to the um, two clicks to the, uh, a click to the left on uh, the bottom suspension. You can just go um, through all there. If you guys would, I've I've had one comment asking for setup videos. If you'd like me to go into thorough detail on setup uh, in terms of each track, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll go through it. If not many people want it, then there's no point in me doing it. But if there's if there's a mad um, ask for it, then I have no problems in doing it, but I don't want to do it and have like two people only really want to know about it. So if you guys want um, a setup guide video to help out, um, then let me know in the comment section down below and I will do it. I know someone has asked for it, um, so I want to see, so I want to bring up the conversation basically to everyone. If you want to see a setup video, just drop it in the comments down below and I'll work on something for sometime mid midweek, maybe have, maybe have to be late next week because I'm very busy at the moment. So. I don't really have a lot of time and it's going to take a while to make up the setup video. But anyway, moving on into the practice program. So we moved, uh, we did the uh, track acclimatization fine. We also did the tire west, uh, the tire west, the tire wear test very fine and the fuel saving okay. But here in qualifying, we didn't actually have a good time. We actually went for a spin. Yeah, um, that didn't go well. Um, we were down on our delta time. Unfortunately, I was a little bit struggling. Of course, the engine components were quite old. So this one was a tough one to do. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm trying to just, uh, yeah, a little bit of an embarrassing moment there. Um, I was down on the delta time by 210, so I tried to gain everything I could into Parabolica. Uh, and unfortunately, it just didn't really work out for me. I got on the throttle way too early, uh, and uh, the car just basically understeered. Because I'm running two two wings, very, very low aero here, because you just don't need any. Um, but I ran two two wings, and I just got too wide. Got off track, lost the back end of the car, clipped the gravel trap, and then went for a spin. But eventually, we did do that one. The race strategy just couldn't get round to completing uh, because, uh, unfortunately, uh, it was just um, the engine elements. Uh, one of the, I, I believe, the main, the biggest part of the engine, the ICE, was gone past 80%. So it was completely useless. Everything else was uh, okay. You can see it there. Look, it was a very unhealthy engine. But now, as you can see, we're going to be now switching to our fourth element. Uh, for every single component. We did run uh, engine components three on the MG UK and uh, two other components, um, but they went past 50%, so I decided to put those into test now and go straight up for a new one. Into Q1 we go then, and Lewis Hamilton currently has the fastest lap time with a 121.2, and we're going to come across the line and set a 121.5, which is going to put us, I believe, in P2. So uh, yet again, we keep getting P2 in literally every single session. Uh, which is kind of frustrating, but nevertheless, not a bad session there. We were six tenths off the pace. We were only like two tenths off the pace, but again, uh, the AI qualifying glitch meant that we there. Uh, he then all of a sudden, after the checkered flag fell, found six tenths of a second. So, um, yeah, guys, if you are genuinely struggling in qualifying, don't be like, don't be concerned about your pace. I know a lot of people are dropping their AI difficulties um, to uh, cope with qualifying. You don't. I I've tried this before. It's not that. The biggest problem... Look at that. I've gone pole position, right? The checkered flag has already fallen, and I'm down to P2, right? So, I was on pole. I had the fastest lap time. This is Q2, so it doesn't really make a difference. Into Q2, and then all of a sudden, Hamilton comes out of nowhere and finds a tenth of a second after the checkered flag fell, and I was last man across the line. So, that's what I'm talking about. So, if you guys are genuinely, like, getting really frustrated with qualifying, 
Don't change your difficulty. Just leave it alone. It is a proper bug with Codemasters. Um, and uh, we hopefully can try and get a fix for it very soon. But yeah, don't be concerned that you're a rubbish driver or anything. Genuinely, there is a full qualifying glitch. And we don't know how to fix it. But anyway, it's Q3 then. And we set a fastest time of 124.4. And uh, that was actually good enough for pole position. Um, but we decided to go out one more time and try and set a better lap here. And as you can see, we're just trying our hardest and going a little bit wide there. Unfortunately, you can see on the Delta time, I'm actually down on my lap time. So uh, I never actually improved on my time, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, oh, wow, look. I got P2 again every qualifying session. Who beat me this time, then? Who who managed to find it? There you go. Look, Valtteri Bottas. And there it is, look. Somehow, after the checkered flag has fallen and all the drivers were in the pits, he's found six tenths of a second. So, that's really satisfying. Thanks, Codemasters. Um, but we're just going to move on with it. It's a front row start in front of the Tifosi home crowd. And uh, it's still a good result, nonetheless, here. And we do achieve some of our objectives to beat Vettel uh, in qualifying and beat our team's objectives. Listening to the race objectives, then it's going to be beat Max Verstappen. Probably finish on the podium. There you go. And stay ninth in the championship, which we're going to do. So let's get into the race. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and a Ferrari alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, and Ricardo, Stroll, Holkenberg, Magnussen, and Felipe Massa, Kvyat, Sainz, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Grosjean, Palmer, Marcus Ericsson, and Stoffel van Dorn. Alonso and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. All right, then, guys, as you can see, we're on the grids here now for the Italian Grand Prix. And we're starting on the front row of the grids. And for today's race, we're going to be doing a one-stop strategy, which is, it, it felt, it feels really strange. Because if you guys haven't played F1 2016, on F1 2016, the Italian Grand Prix in a 50% race was a three- or a four-stop race. Um, so, uh, yeah, making four pit stops in one race, that was the norm. Now it's just a one-stop, so you can clearly tell how this game has changed and finally getting it realistic. Anyway, we're here onto the grid now for the Italian Grand Prix. We've got four, now five red lights here for the Italian Grand Prix. And it is lights out. Here we go here for the Italian Grand Prix. It's been a good start from us yet again. The Ferrari's launch is absolutely incredible. And once again, just like in Hungary, we're going to get a great round of Bottas. And we're going to go down the inside here in towards someone. But Valtteri actually comes back at me here. And uh, unfortunately, he's got the inside line. And he has every right to squeeze me out there. But we've got yellow flags behind. Oh, my God. That is a huge pileup in the back. And me and Bottas are just going to gain so much time from this. And then eventually the safety car has to be deployed due to a huge pileup into turn one. Lance Stroll has moved up into third place in the Williams. And I'm not sure who's in fourth. But Bottas and myself got way lucky there um, as we were in the, on the front row and avoided all of the collisions behind. But we're going to have to go back and have a look at it. And Stoffel van Dorn. That's just been disqualified for, you know, why not just disqualify Van Dorn. But anyway, so we've got five red lights here. Having a look at the start then. So this is just from a plain broadcast view. We're going to get a POV of everyone's start. But as you can see, we got a much better run than Valtteri Bottas coming in towards turn one. And as we charge towards the first one, we're actually in front. We do break nice and late here, but Valtteri actually broke a little bit later and held it there around the outside. And, oh, and there it is. It's, I think that's Hamilton. Uh, I don't even know. But coming towards turn one, we're looking at Daniel Ricciardo. They're going Four wide into turn one. Ricardo breaks late and he just sort of doesn't... Oh, that, I think that might be Ricardo's fault there. He just didn't seem to turn into the corner at four wide. You're never going to fit four cars into turn one. Looking at Sergio Perez's POV, he got a stunning start. Now, he's not on the medium tyres. You will see a glitch with that. But you can see that it hits him and Hamilton alongside. They break a little bit earlier. Then Ricardo just dives in. And look at that. All four of them look. Hamilton, Vettel... Ricardo and Perez all just getting stuck, basically. And then you can see v uh, Perez's tyres suddenly deciding to change back to Super Soft, which was on in the first place. Lewis Hamilton actually had the cleanest at the start. And I'm um, surprised it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for him. So you can see coming into turn one, no one near him. Oh, smacked by Perez. Going off the track on the gravel. Vettel then sort of stuck. And then Hamilton sort of, you know, just decides to turn into the gravel. And then stops. And then, yeah. And then finally, on board with Vettel's POV, you can see that Perez and Hamilton are side by side. Ricardo and Vettel could literally back out of it, but Ricardo comes and dives on in and then just doesn't really turn into the corner and just squeezes all four of them together. Uh, and then the bad news for Vettel is he actually turns and he actually hits the wall and loses a bit of his end plate there. So 
Really, really clumsy stuff there from the top guys. Um, but we're going to carry on racing then. It is me versus Bottas until anyone else can basically get near us. As Lance Stroll is behind now, but Bottas has had a very good getaway here. But now we're going to tuck into the slipstream of Valtteri here. And we're getting right up into his slipstream, getting into the toe. Ricardo is out of the Italian Grand Prix as well on the restart here. But we've got a good run on Valtteri. And this time I'm going to break a little bit later than Valtteri. I'm going to give him a slight squeeze, but he's still there alongside me. But this time I carry more speed and get a better exit speed off of the exit of the chicane and we're in front of Valtteri Bottas and into the lead of the Italian Grand Prix and I bet that the Fossi crowd are going wild over that overtake as Lance Stroll now looks to try and get past him but onto lap 5 of the Grand Prix now and Valtteri Bottas is back on my tail again and uh, you can see how much we're already pulling away from Lance Stroll as we set the fast after race Bottas sets the fast after race so far but can he get us here on straight straight, uh, straight straight line speed no he can't actually so Valtteri with the straight line speed of that Mercedes is not quick enough than my Ferrari car. Now, of course, the Mercedes has got a much quicker power unit, but I'm running with such low aero, and I've just got such a better top-end speed that it's really helped me out here. But onto lap six of the Grand Prix now, and Valtteri is right behind me still. He's really just following me around in this circuit, and this is what it's going to assume, and it's going to commence into a race-long battle between myself and Valtteri here. Coming towards Ascari now. We're going to defend the inside line. Bottas is going to go for the outside line here, so a very bold move from Valtteri. We're going to break nice and late here, try and shove him wide a little bit, but he's still there. Going to have to give him the room here and the car power sliding as we come into oh so close to contact there and just sliding through Ascari I was going to put a broadcasting green for that but I wanted you to guys see that from my driver's POV just sliding through Ascari having to really be gentle on the throttle nearly making horrible contact there with Bottas now as we come round the Parabolica here Valtteri right behind me as we come swooping through Parabolica onto the pit straight here the Tifosi will be cheering me on all the way I would have thought and hoping that Bottas doesn't get through but unfortunately Bottas is in the slipstream of my Ferrari and he has got DRS as well he's going to move over to the inside line for the chicane and I'm going to try and defend round the outside here and then I'm going to get the inside as we see some glitch debris there and as you can see we do just that here but I tried to squeeze Bottas out but Bottas Fair play to the Finn driver. He's actually come flying through and he's up into the lead of the Grand Prix and he's stolen it around the outside of the chicane. Brilliant move from Valtteri Bottas and now we have to stick behind him and uh, hope that Bottas just doesn't pull away from us and we need to make a move. I was going to try it into the chicane onto the end of lap 7 now. Bottas has pulled away a little bit but we are still close in the slipstream of Valtteri and we're going to come back at him now for the exit of the Parabolica and you can see Bottas flying through then myself. The Defosi will be a little bit upset that Bottas is in front. We've got DRS this time now. We've got the DRS. We've got the slipstream and we've probably got a better top end speed than Valtteri and look at the closing speed we've got on Bottas. Bottas and down the inside into the chicane. Bottas locks up there. Very reminiscent to what Nico Rosberg did in 2014 when he did it twice. And just gifted me the position there. So uh, I didn't even need to make an overtake for that. So uh, I want to thank you very much, Valtteri. That was very kind of you. Uh, and we can move on on our way on to lap 9 of the Grand Prix now. And we're going to be coming in for our very first pit stop of the Italian Grand Prix. Our one and only pit stop, in fact. And as you can see, slowing it all down uh, for the marks there. Into the pits now. And uh, Bottas actually continues for another lap. So... In theoretical terms, we've got an undercut on Valtteri here, so hopefully this can uh, get us out in front. But uh, we'll have to see how Valtteri's in-lap is. Hopefully it's not too good, but you, you know what's going to happen. But anyway, we're coming out of the pits now, and uh, I th I'm not really sure where we are in comparison to the rest of the field. Me and Bottas have just flown away from the entire field, and it's a straight fight between us. As that is, I think that was one of the Williams cars. It is. It's, um, I'm not sure if it's Massa. It is Massa, and that's Vettel there. And luckily for me... We've come out in, uh, just in a, l a little bit of clean air, actually, in front of Vettel, uh, behind Vettel and Massa, but still about two, three seconds behind them, but comfortably in front of the Fiat train there. So, coming on to lap 11 of the Grand Prix now, there is Valtteri Bottas there, and uh, he is coming out of the pit, so we do rejoin in front of him here, uh, but unfortunately, I just got really distracted, and I've completely missed my braking point here, and I'm going to slow, I have to slow it right down, and I'm super lucky not to get a penalty there, but obviously the stewards felt that I slowed down enough. Uh, to uh, avoid getting a penalty, but really clumsy uh, mistake there for me. Just lost all concentration and completely forgot the braking zone and went straight on. I could have gone on to the, um, uh, the uh, go straight on and uh, taken the uh, zigzag slalom, but I decided to just cut the chicane and uh, basically I did 24 miles an hour over the chicane, so I slowed down a lot, but further on into the Grand Prix now, we're getting a slip team from Rohan Grosjean and Bottas right behind me as well, so we're all just flying through here, and Bottas has closed his DRS uh, flap, so I don't know why he did that, but we're going to go down the inside of Grosjean, and Bottas doesn't get the move done, and that means he's now stuck behind him, and now my hope 
is that Grosjean can kind of basically hold him up. But on a power circuit, on well, lap 15, it makes no difference because he's now right there behind me. So, uh, yeah, that didn't really work out for myself. So, we've got Kevin Magnussen in front. Bottas with some DRS this time. And again, he's going to come at me into Ascari and towards the inside line. He's going to take this time. Here comes Valtteri for one more attack here. Down the inside into Ascari. But we're going to get a nice swooping exit here on Ascari around the outside. And that is us still in the lead of this Grand Prix. But we are having an absolutely sensational fight here. And it's going to carry on. Lap 16 of the Grand Prix now. We've got Purple in the first sector catching Magnussen. But we took... Oh, we've, we, have, we have actually turned in a little bit early there. We've clipped one of the little sausage curbs. And that's given Bottas a free position. So after Bottas locked up here, we're going to try to switch back into the Lesmo. And Bottas, whoa, that was a little bit close. Valtteri as he just came in onto the apex of the corner and basically snatched the apex there. Good thing I had good reactions there. Otherwise, that could have been horrible. But we have closed back up onto Valtteri Bottas now. Into Parabolica we go. And Bottas is right there in front of me. And you can see that we're just closing all the time now. We've got the DRS opening. We've got the slipstream on Valtteri Bottas. That's the DRS line there. Here's the slipstream. And here comes the raw speed of this Ferrari. And we're going to go to the inside line. For the chicane. There's Kevin Magnussen. There's Valtteri Bottas and myself. And down the inside into the chicane. We make the move stick on Valtteri. And back up into P2. Which will be a net P1 because Magnussen started the race on the uh, medium compound tyres. On to lap 17 now the Grand Prix. At the end of lap 17. Round the Parabolica we go. A little bit wide on the exit. Oh, we've had a snap of oversteer there on the exit. As we just lost it. Because we went a bit too wide on Parabolica. And Bottas is going to come out and steer with some DRS. In fact, he sort of tries to tuck back into my slipstream there, Bottas. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He sort of... He was uh, alongside me and then he tried to tuck back into my slipstream uh, to try and make the move stick. But he just made contact with my... Uh, maybe with my rear wing. Closed with DRS and had to just wait basically onto lap 18 of the Grand Prix now. And we're catching up to Kevin Magnussen here in the Haas car. And as you can see, we're going to go down the inside into Parabolica, wasting little time on Kevin. And I need to just keep pushing forwards now. Valtteri is all over the back of me in this race. And we've still got 11 laps to go or uh, something like that. Magnussen pits for his one and only stop in this Grand Prix. That's uh, a little bit early actually, I would have thought. Uh, but onto lap 20 of the Grand Prix now. So it takes Bottas a couple of laps to come back onto my tail. But again, he's on the exit. Of this, uh, he's coming back at me because we make the charge towards Ascari now. Hamilton is 20 seconds behind us. So it's a straight fight between me and Bottas as it has been all race long. As we come towards Ascari one more time here. Breaking nice and late. Oh, that was super tight there around the outside. A little bit of wheel banging there as the car slides across. Opposite lock just about. And we have to correct the car and Bottas goes on flying through there so really really crazy stuff in this uh, Italian Grand Prix we had the move done there but because we were on the outside line and we're having to turn in too much for Ascari we just lost the back end of the car and of course we can't afford to keep doing that as Bottas is just going to eventually pull away but of course with running two two wings it really does affect the arrow and maybe three three might be a better option but this is why 2-2 Wings is the perfect option here. We are just closing up on Valtteri Bottas at a vast rate of knots here. And down the inside, I might as well just make this one stick. Thank you very much. Make that move stick. Cover off the second apex of the chicane. That is a perfect move. And back up into the lead of the Grand Prix once again. Bottas, I think, didn't even see me coming now. Until lap 21 of the Grand Prix now. Through Ascaria. And again, look. Having a real problem getting it, getting it right there. As we just lose the rear of the car. And uh, the car just not plans for Ascari. Uh, with my uh, aero setup, but it works on the straights, and that's all that matters really. Is I just need to defend on the straights here as we defend the middle of the track towards Parabolica. Bottas was still there on the uh, outside, so I had to leave him all the space that he was ne uh, necessary for him. And once again, we're just coming through now. Bottas here, DRS is going to be open, Slipstream has enabled. Uh, as well, and uh, he's kind of come flying through here on the outside line. We're going to defend the inside into the chicane, try and get a better exit as we get banging tyres on the exit of the straight, but this time we actually break later than Valtteri Bottas, and we actually stay in front of him this time, so we don't need to use the second apex to um, uh, claim the position. Into the Lesmos now, and you can see that we're coming towards the run. Ascari, and again, snap of oversteers. We're really pushing so hard. This is why we're making all these little tiny mistakes. We are really pushing so hard to fight Valtteri here. And down the inside, in towards Ascari. Will Bottas make this one stick around the outside? A brilliant move from Bottas, but he just doesn't quite get the best exit here. And now we're behind Valtteri, but we're very, very close. And we are going to have the DRS in the slipstream on towards the next lap here. So we're going to try and make this one stick. Or oh, will we go for it into Parabolica? We're going to go for it into Parabolica. Why not? Bit of wheel back, side pop banging there. It's Bottas. Sort of brake checks us a little bit. I did get the position back to Bottas. I could have kept on going uh, and maybe got in front of Valtteri. But I decided to lift off and give him the position back. Because I did uh, did go down the inside and make a little uh, touch on his side. But I might as well just use the DRS in the slipstream in the first place. And come flying through a brake nice and late 
into the corner. And uh, you can see that we're just going to cover off the two apexes. Bottas might try a switch back, but the fact that I covered the apex corners, it was going to be a little bit difficult for him on to lap 24 of the Grand Prix now. And we are still fighting Valtteri here and you can see Hamilton is closing the gap on us but again it's too big for him as he goes towards Ascari now he's going to take the inside line this time and I'm going to have to defend the outside this time you can see the proximity arrows go red showing that Valtteri is alongside but this time I close off Ascari and I don't give him the room and this time again a little slide on the exit but it's okay though Valtteri is going to come back at us once again but this time we're just going to have a little bit more top end speed as Valtteri tries to defend you can see I'm going to squeeze over and I'm going to take the racing line into Parabolica and this time Valtteri doesn't get the job done on me but again he's going to have the slipstream and DRS in the straight as we just lose the rear a little bit on the exit of the Parabolica as we just got onto the green cur curving there don't really want to get onto that because it is going to make you lose some time here as Valtteri now with him DRS here he's going to come flying through now as uh as he comes through slipstream and DRS enabled and we just give him a tight little squeeze there to make his line that much more difficult he's still there though so I'm going to give him the room on the second part of the chicane but eventually we hold off once again from Valtteri Bottas onto lap 25 now of the Grand Prix Valtteri is coming back at us once again it just doesn't end between the pair of us and you can see he's actually going to try it towards Parabolica Bottas pulls out onto the inside line for Parabolica I'm going to have the outside into Parabolica so I'm going to have the nice swooping corner but Valtteri with a stunning move this time and through Parabolica onto the pit straight. It's now me versus Bottas here. He's going to have the DRS, but it's a drag race now between the pair of us. Through we go. This is absolutely incredible stuff here. It's a drag race towards this uh, chicane. And who's going to break latest? It's going to be myself. I'm going to have the outside line. I'm going to change it to the inside. Bottas is going to get squeezed out there. And he just doesn't have enough room there. And absolutely incredible scenes here. As we continue to fight with Valtteri Bottas. And it's going to go all the way to the last lap of the Grand Prix. And speaking of the last lap, it is lap 26. About to start lap 27 now. Through the trees, the helicopter cam goes. Onto the pit straight. This is going to be the start of the last lap of the Grand Prix. Bottas, Slipstream and DRS enabled. I'm going heavily to the inside this time. Bottas is going to come through with some DRS. But he decides to switch his line. And I'm going to just sort of cover him off a little bit there. And Bottas actually doesn't get in front of us. So... Pretty surprising that one, but he doesn't make it stick. We go a little bit wayward on the exit of the chicane, and Bottas is right behind us now. And as you can see, opening ourselves up, you can see here that um, we're just coming through the Curva Grande one last time. This is the last lap of the Grand Prix. Valtteri very, very close to us. Will he go for it into the second chicane here, or will he wait for the run towards Ascari to go for his next move? He doesn't decide to go for it into the second chicane, so he's going to wait for the move into Ascari here. And we just got to keep ourselves composed and keep defending like we have done all race long and keep attacking if we need to like we have done all race long. You can see towards the first Lesmo, did that one okay. A little bit wayward on the exit. Second Lesmo corner, that one was slightly worse actually. A little bit more wayward on the exit, but we're just pushing that much harder on Valtteri to stay in front of him as we come towards Ascari now. Bottas here, DRS wide open, rich mix. I'm using everything I can towards Ascari. Bottas just about there, but I gave him very little room. And uh, you can see through towards uh, the end of this straight now. Bottas in the slipstream. I'm going to put it into standard. And I'm like, stuff it. I'm just going to go rich reds all the way to the end now. Bottas with the slipstream deep towards the inside of Parabolica. Switch to the racing line for Parabolica. And round Parabolica, we do go now for the one and final time here. What a Grand Prix we have had. But in front of our Tafosi home crowd, we win the Italian Grand Prix. But I am telling you what, that is the most fun race I have ever had in any Formula 1 game. Without a shadow of a doubt, from lap 1 all the way to the end of the race, we and Ma me and Valtteri Bottas had one of the best races in Formula 1. That was absolutely incredible. But in front of the Tafosi, we kept it together. We made a lot of mistakes in that race. And that was mainly due to Bottas just pushing me so hard. And I had to really work for that race win. And that was absolutely incredible stuff there. Felipe Massa with a cracking fourth place uh, for Williams there. And uh, onto the podium now. In front of the Tafosi home crowd, we can celebrate in the scarlet red Ferrari. And uh, the two Mercs, second and third Bottas, with a brilliant race between me and him. That was that was something special, that was. That was absolutely incredible. Lewis Hamilton recovering after the uh, Turn 1 incident uh, to come home and finish in third. So a good job from Lewis to recover after the uh, Turn 1 problem. And uh, the champagne flows there, but 
What a Grand Prix. That was absolutely amazing. Guys, if you did enjoy that Grand Prix, smash the like button on that. That was incredible battling between me and Bottas all race long. And uh, you can see Verstappen finishing down in 12th. Ricardo DNFing, so no points for Red Bull today. Shocking result for them. Ocon DNFs as well. And uh, yeah, wow. What a Grand Prix. And I actually went to the race director because there was a couple of penalties. Sop goes for collisions with Ocon and lap one collisions and uh, Van Dorn got disqualified. It was for parking in a dangerous location. So my guess is he just stopped in the turn one chicane and just didn't drive again and then just got disqualified or something. But whew, just take a little bit of a breather now. That was a crazy, uh, that was a crazy race. I mean, if Vettel and Hamilton were there as well, I mean, imagine if Vettel and Hamilton didn't have the problems in the turn one and we were battling like that. Ferrari versus Mercedes, the two of us. But me and Bottas, I'm sure we put on a show. And guys, I hope you enjoyed that battle because that was absolutely incredible. But that's not going to be it for the end of the video because uh, we beat, uh, we're closing up to attacking the staff and the rivalry. Uh, the uh, reputation level, Mercedes, still looking strong with us. They still like us. Uh, and then the other teams also do as well. Uh, and we've got an invitation on. And it's two Ferrari invitationals. Would you look at that considering we're in a Ferrari car? We've got the overtake challenge in the 1995 Ferrari. Or do a nice short uh, five lap race in the O2 Ferrari at Japan. So I decided to go with the O2 Ferrari at Japan here. Starting in P9. Five lap race on Japan. Short circuit. It is lights out. And away we go here for the Grand Prix. We get a decent start here. Very good start. Great launch here. And uh, we... Wow, this car is absolutely rapid. In towards turn one we go now. We're just sort of trying to suss out a little position here to make our overtakes. And we push up into P3 here. And uh, you can see the car really sliding here. I'm going from my, uh, Fra my modern car Ferrari... So this O2 Ferrari, which is, uh, as you can see here, me just taking way too much corner line um, to try to find a way through. And as you can see here, onto lap two of the Grand Prix now. And uh, hello, Renault. Um, also, um, goodbye, Renault. And nice knowing you. But uh, I absolutely flew past the Renault there as we make our way towards turn one now. And now we've got the chance to potentially close up to the other Ferrari in front. It is an O2 Ferrari. Uh, so it is going to be quite difficult because we've got the same car. So we've just got to keep ourselves composed. If we can catch it, that'd be awesome. Uh, if not, then it, it's not that much of a worry. We don't need to be too concerned. Uh, it's just a fun little invitational event here. And we're trying everything we can now as we break. As you can see, just look how fast the Ferrari is. And uh, you can see everyone closing in. Look at the Renault right behind me there. And uh, if I just don't mind just putting my foot down in my rocket ship. The gap was three tenths. It might as well be three seconds now because that was a rocket ship. And you can see onto lap five of the Grand Prix now. Uh, I just couldn't quite catch the Ferrari. Uh, I was doing everything I could to catch him, but unfortunately, every time I tried to push even harder, uh, I just lost the back end. So, um, yeah, you can see it is going to be P2 for the uh, little invitational event, which is not too bad. You can see the two Renaults coming up behind, but um, yeah, they were never going to overtake us because this car is a rocket ship in a straight line. It's absolutely insane how much straight line speed it has. But um, yeah, so uh, two podiums in uh, two events, uh, obviously. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, though, don't forget to click a like on the video. Guys, your support on these videos over the ever since I accepted the contract of Ferrari have been absolutely incredible. I've gained, I think I've gained about 100 subs in 24 hours. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I've had like, I think it's 62 likes on my uh, Hungarian Grand Prix. 42 likes on the Belgian Grand Prix. If we can get anywhere near that, if we can say let's hit, let's try 40 likes on this one. I don't know. I never hit. I never asked for likes uh, in terms of targets, but I don't know. You guys are going crazy, so maybe I should just set targets. Let's just try. It. I don't know. Uh, you guys can just uh, judge it how you want. But that's it for me. Take care, all guys. Peace.